Hey guys, so I'm starting out with this CoverGirl Vitalist Go Glow Luminizing Lotion and oh my god does it stink. I have not used the product since because it smells so bad. And then for foundation, I'm using my trusty Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I actually love this foundation so much. Um, so I'm blending it out with my Beauty Blender and it gives me a super full coverage and I just love it. It's so creamy, so full coverage, so nice to wear on your face. Then to cream contour, I'm taking the NYX foundation stick in the shade Caramel to just sculpt out my face. So I'm applying it to my cheekbones, my hairline, forehead, under my bottom lip and all of that kind of thing. And then I'm just going in with my Beauty Blender once again and blending everything out. Then moving into the eyes, I'm taking the Sigma Persuade Eye Base and just using a P89 brush to pretty much blend this all over my lids from the base to the brows. And then to set that, I'm using the Technic Cosmetics Translucent Powder just on an F35 brush. Then going into the Naked palette, I'm taking this shade here, which I think is just called Naked, and I'm blending it messily all through my crease with, with the Real Techniques BO4 brush. Then I'm dipping into the shade Buck, which is like a golden warm toned matte brown. And I'm using the same brush just to do the same type of thing, just buffing it into the crease. Then I'm taking an E25 and the shade Creep, which is a black with like little sparkles through it. Um, it still worked, even though it does have the little sparkles through it, but I would have preferred a matte black. I think this palette does like lack that, but yeah, I applied that to the outer corners, then took my BO4 and just blended it out. Then I took the shade Hustle on a E55 from Sigma and I just applied this to the sort of outer third of the eye where it sort of meets up with that black colour. Then I took the shade Toasted which is such a beautiful shade, I love this. And I just used my finger to apply this to the rest of the lid, so from the inner corner to where I applied that Hustle shade. And then to highlight my brow bone. I just used the shade Virgin from the palette. Then I just took a black coal pencil and tight lined my eyes with that. And then I did just take my Technic Skinny Liner just to create a super duper thin line where my lash line is just for where my false lashes were going. And then for mascara, I used my current favourite, which is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And then for falsies, I took the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes in the style 811. Moving back onto the face, I'm taking my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC15. And I'm just applying this underneath the eyes in a triangular sort of shape just to make sure it was like nice and highlighted as well. And then I just took some down the center of my face to really give my face dimension. And I also took some underneath my contour just to sharpen it up a little bit. And then to set everything down, I took the Technique Translucent Powder again and I just pressed this into my skin with an F35 brush. Then I used my oldie but goodie Too Faced Contour Kit, Coco Contour Kit, I'm sorry, and I took the shade Medium Coco and used my F23 brush from Sigma just to basically set my cream contour down and yeah, bronze up my skin. So I did take my Beauty Blender to blend out the edges as well. And then for blush, I took this one from Rimmel in the shade, I think, Pink Rose, and I just blended it onto my cheeks. And then to highlight, I used the model's own highlighter in the shade Golden Sands, which, oh, I just love this highlight. Every time I apply it, I'm like, how is a drugstore highlighter so damn good? But this one is, so I applied it absolutely everywhere. And then to set everything down, I just used this Pure Cosmetics Mist and Mist and something. It'll be listed down below. Then back onto the eyes, I took the shade Buck again underneath my lower lashes, just with the same BO4 brush. And then I went straight into Creep and I joined that black in on the outer corner and just softly blended it towards the inner corner. 
Then just took a little bit of hustle just to kind of match up with what I did on the top lash line. And then I took a little bit of toasted again and applied that to the very inner portion of the lower lash line. And then for the inner corner, I mixed together the shades Virgin and Sin just to highlight that, but kind of wasn't bright enough, so I would have gone back and done a little bit more of a highlight with my face highlighter. But anyway, and then I just lined my lower lash, lower waterline, I'm sorry, and then gave my lower lashes a coat of mascara. And then finally for lips, I used this new Maybelline liquid lipstick in the shade Loyalist and I love this. And when they say Superstay, it is seriously Superstay. And that completed the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.